Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain about episiot. Let us see the definitions of episiotomy. So, episiotomy is a surgically planned incision on the perineum and the posterior vaginal wall during the second stage of labor is called episiotomy. So, it is a incision which is made on the perineum and the posterior vaginal wall during the delivery or second stage of labor is called episiotomy or perineotomy. So, it is in fact an inflicted second degree perineal injury. It is the most common obstetric operation which is performed for the fetus to come out. So, here let us see the purpose, why we will perform this episiotomy. Mostly to enlarge the vaginal introitus during the delivery and to facilitate easy and safe delivery and to minimize the rupture of the perineal muscles and fascia, to reduce stress on the fetal head. And to minimize overstretching, rupture of the perineal muscles. So, this is the purpose. Let us see the indications of episiotomy. So, it will be done in rigid perineum and anticipating the perineal tear in cases of big baby. So, why this perineal tear will occur due to big baby, due to phase 2 pubis delivery, due to breech delivery, due to shoulder dystocia. So, and also force in episiotomy also can be done in forceps delivery and ventos delivery or if there are any previous perineal surgeries like pelvic floor repair, perineal reconstruct surgery. So, what are all the advantages for this episiotomy? So, perineum is easily to get repaired after the incision in just like in one week and reduction in duration of labor. So, by doing this episiotomy, we can reduce the labor duration and reduction of trauma. For the fetal, it minimizes the intracranial injuries, especially in premature baby. So, these are the advantages. Let us see the timing of episiotomy, when we, we can perform this episiotomy. So, bulging thinned perineum during the contraction, just prior to the crowning, we need to perform this episiotomy. So, the timing of performing episiotomy requires judgment. If done early, the blood loss will be more. If done late, it fails to prevent the invisible laceration of the perineal body and thereby it is fails to protect the pelvic floor. That is what we need to check whether it is a bulging thinned perineum during the contraction. So, just prior to the crowning that is when 3 to 4 centimeter of head is visible. So, which is the ideal time. Types of episiotomy, there are four types, mediolateral, median, lateral and J shaped. So, this is midline incision, this is a mediolateral, this is midline and J shape. So, which will be like in a shape of J. I will show. So, let us see what is this medio lateral. It begins at the midpoint of the forechet directed at 45 degrees angle to the midline and towards a point midway between the ischial tuberosity and the 
anus and median midline incision that follows the natural line of insertion of the perineal muscles so what are all the equipment equipment for this so here i said j shaped so let's see j shape also here so this is what the j shape this is posterior lateral and medial lateral and this is median and this is j shape let's see the articles or equipments which are needed for this episiotomy sterile drape sterile gown and gloves gauze wraps and tampon needle holder sponge holder scissors 10 ml syringe 2 3 4 set suture material and 1% lignocaine are required preliminaries the perineum is thoroughly swabbed with antiseptic lotion and draped properly incision line infiltrated with 10 ml of 1% lignocaine making episiotomy two fingers are placed in the vagina between the presenting part so here you can see between the presenting part so this is presenting part fetal head then posteriorly we need to keep two fingers after that the incision is made by straight or curved blunt pointed sharp scissors the open blades are positioned incision should be made at the height of it contraction cut should be made starting from the center of the forceps and extending to the lateral it either to the left or right so from center to the left or right left or right it is directed diagonally in a straight line which runs about 2.5 cm away from the anus so here this is the anus you can see here it should be away 2.5 cm next perineal repair suturing repair is done soon after the expulsion of the placenta to avoid heavy hemorrhage or bleeding so purpose of repair to control the bleeding to prevent infection and to assist wound healing by primary intention so complications complications are immediate and remote there is a vulval hematoma there might be a chances infection recto vaginal fistulas also wound dehiscence and remote dyspareunia which is a painful sexual intercourse and scar endometriosis metriosis can occur so this is about the episiot hope you have understood if you have doubt please message